Week number 33 here in Germany, and it's really cold in my room right now. Sorry, I thought I'd get that out there. It's the end of March, guys. You know this. It's the end of March, and it's still freaking cold in Germany and in the U.S. The weather needs to chill out, or rather warm up. That was a really lame joke, but I'm leaving it in anyways. Now, to start out the week. The week was pretty cool. Again, my week start on Wednesday because I spend all of Monday doing the videos and then I upload it overnight and then I take break Tuesday. Nothing ever happens on Tuesday. Who does anything on Tuesday? And so my day starts out on Wednesday. I went to the Fogostazion, the bird care rescue center place. Fogostazion is, is really, it's honestly easier to say. So you guys should know what that is by now. And it was really cool. I got to go out with two of the guys there, two of the workers there, Toby and Silvio, and we took August the hawk with us. You can see him right there. He is adorable. I guess if falcons can be adorable or hawks, not exactly sure what he is, but he's really nice. He won't bite, and we actually took him with us to this, uh, I would say, Der Arsch der Welt, which literally means the ass of the world. It was, it was the middle of nowhere, Germany, about, I want to say, 30 miles away from Dresden. And it turns out that there was a hawk there, the same species as August. It was apparently terrorizing people, but I didn't quite understand that beforehand. When Toby was speaking to me, I wasn't exactly sure what we were doing, where we were going. Um, so I didn't really understand. So we finally got there, and like I said, middle of nowhere, a couple farmhouses in a tiny, tiny little village. And I'm putting on my second jacket because it is just raining and windy and cold and freezing. And all of a sudden, after Toby takes the bird out of the back of the trunk, that's where we had him, I hear, <laughs> I hear this loud caw. And all of a sudden, this hawk swoops down and like two feet above Toby's head. And I'm like, what the hell is going on right now? Like, why? Why did that bird just do that? That was the most aggressive thing I've ever seen from a bird. I understood after Toby said the word terrorisiert. And I was like, oh, that's what it's doing. That was a really aggressive bird. August did not pay any attention to it. We never did catch it. But on Thursday, when I had to go to work, they actually went back there. I'm not sure if they caught it. I guess we will see on next week's video. Now, continuing Wednesday, we never did catch it. We were out there for quite a while, for about an hour, waiting on it after it flew away and we couldn't find it. And so we finally gave up. And then I went back to the Fogostazion, and it turns out Saskia had brought this little, tiny, little baby rabbit. You guys can see it right there. That is, I mean, I need to punch a wall to feel manly again after seeing that little creature, after holding it. Oh my god, like, so cute. And I got to feed it and had to massage this little stomach because apparently um, that's what the mothers do whenever they're like, uh, whenever they, they look like they're grooming the little babies the whole time, but it actually turns out that they're doing that and they're helping them with digesting their food because it doesn't work quite correctly yet. So that's pretty cool, pretty interesting, you didn't know that. But poor Saskia, she said that they have to do that, well she has to do that every two hours. And I think this week she said every three hours. And you can imagine feeding and massaging takes about 30 or 40 minutes. So that's pretty much like no sleep at all, like really, really broken up sleep. Um, so I admire her for that much dedication. She really cares about animals. And I understand that because I feel that way too. I just, honestly, I can't have a rabbit here, so what are you going to do? And then I got to feed Akila, the hunting eagle that you guys have seen before. Finally got to hold him on my arm, feed him. Oh my god, that was so epic. It was, what a majestic creature. And scary also. A little scary. I was a little scared of him, but he's super nice. I could probably like be like this close away to his face and he wouldn't bite me or anything. He's trained, so I can understand that. And so, moving on from that day, that day was cool and I enjoyed it quite a lot. Probably my favorite day at the Fogostazion. And on Thursday and Friday, I got to go to the Meissen Manufacture. That is the place where they make porcelain. Now, as you guys know, 
And I've, as I've said before, if you don't know, mice and porcelain is the finest and oldest porcelain in all of Europe. It is all hand painted and it is very expensive. And I got to go film at Mice and Manufacture, as it's called. It was started in 1710. They were the second makers in all of the world to create porcelain. Pretty cool, right? And so what we were doing there is they are actually sending a collection of porcelain to Taiwan. Taiwan apparently is actually a big buyer of mice and porcelain. Taiwan was technically the, well, that area, that region, was the first place to manufacture porcelain goods, like porcelain plates and cups and s yeah, all that stuff. And that's why we call it fine china in the U.S. Well, here they call it, like, fine mice and because that, I mean, that's how good the quality is and that's what they're used to. So I actually got to meet the eight painters that are responsible for sending this collection to Taiwan. I would say it's probably some of Meissen's best painters. And I have to say it was an honor. These people are beyond talented, beyond artistically talented. Some of the best porcelain painters in all of the world. And I got to see them and meet them so awesome and just to top that just to top that we got to eat in Meissen's it wasn't quite a five-star restaurant but I think it was probably the nicest couple meals that I've ever eaten at a restaurant in my life and it was all free all that beautiful food you see right there on beautiful Meissen porcelain some of the finest in all of the world and I got it for free the whole camera crew did actually so you know, you get some extra stuff when you're part of the camera crew, when you're part of the staff. I like it a lot. It's really cool. And I enjoyed the day a lot there. And there are photos, not all of them, of mice and manufacturer on my blog. And for anyone that has Facebook, then they're also on there. So yeah, and then this weekend, we watched a couple movies on Saturday. We got a couple bottles of wine, or a few bottles of wine. I watched a couple movies, watched a horror movie, and then a bit of a comedy, and we had a fun time. And so, yeah, that pretty much ends out my week. It was a pretty cool week, and honestly, I'm just sort of going through the motions now. I've got all my classes picked out for my next semester at my university, and so I'm actually talking a lot this time, guys, because there's not that much footage. So, um, sorry, but I hope I keep you guys at least halfway entertained when I speak. I know, looking back on my videos, I was watching them, and they are bad. But it's okay, we all have to start somewhere. It was like when I started playing guitar. It was hard and difficult, and I sucked, and I sounded awful. But with time, you improve. With experience, you improve. Alright, so that ends out the week. You guys know how we do this. Let's see what we did for the week. Hello, Z. Here we are starting off. That is August the Hawk, and Toby is holding him. We were standing right outside of the Fogostation, and we were going to catch that hawk that was terrorizing people. The call that I did before definitely sounded like it, I think. Uh, how you going, man? Yeah, I've never actually seen a hawk do that before. It was really aggressive. We think it might have been wanting to build a nest around this area, but obviously the people being around sort of hinders them being able to do that. Over there is, I believe, Toby or Silvio sitting... That is Toby right there, sitting next to that stump that August is tied to because he's a little timid. If you get too close to him, sometimes he wants to fly away. But... It's okay, he's a good bird, and he's cute. And oh my god, I just had to show this little rabbit. Oh my god, I need to... Oh, it's so cute, I can't even exist. Like, look at it, just... Just... Oh... Okay. Yeah. 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 Here we were in the courtyard of the Meissen 
manufacturer facility that place is absolutely gigantic it's like a small little town inside where we were driving it was absolutely ridiculous and here was the first painter as you can see on the left I tried to crop the camera that Roman was using out of the film but as you can see he was actually filming her too I do believe she was painting for the collection um, that is getting sent to Taiwan this guy right here, you saw a picture of him earlier in the black shirt. He is actually the one going to Taiwan to present all of this fine porcelain. Here I was walking a little bit through the museum. It was sort of a quick little take because you can see we were being taken to lunch right here. And there was a couple of my coworkers and one of their PR people. I do believe he was a manager and the other lady was a PR and this was just some absolutely gorgeous porcelain never seen anything like it absolutely fantastic work and I just leaves me speechless that was actually the next day and that was food on the second day that I had I didn't film as much but I did take lots more photos I was a little more timid to film and this clip finishes up our week mm. yeah you're on film come on eating please that's you really going to go on the phone, isn't it? No. Oh. But it's funny then, yeah. And so I'll see you guys next week.